All praises to the almighty, sublime creator of all things. Yes, the almighty one, the majestic one. Yes, hallelujah. And to all my fellow servants in the kingdom of the most high, I send you infinite love and light. Yes, and I receive yours, all praises from this world and beyond. Yes, all praises to the most high. <clears throat> You know, the Most High is elevating us, and He let us know through many, many messages that the battle is truly within. Yes. Yes, the battle is within your mind, okay? Your mind. And so now it's time for us to make that change, and we must continue. We must be diligent. We must be disciplined with the way we process our thoughts. Yeah, because the devil, he, he, I told you he's gonna try to hit you from the side uh, line. Yeah, now that you're ma monitoring your vibrations and monitoring your light and make sure that you're staying away from things to make it slicker or lower your vibration. Now he's gonna try to hit you from the sideline, I'm telling you. So, it's very important who you have in your circle now very very important and pay attention pay attention to the way people affect you and if you don't have to be around them well you know so be it if the most high takes someone out of your life leave it there leave it there cut all connections cut all connections okay with someone that has lowered your vibration and continuously lowered it you know, I, I went through life not knowing, like, I feel like I'm a little child. I'm learning something all the time, and the things that I learned that helps me, then I share it with you. Yeah, because I went through my life not paying attention to, you know, I, I felt the effects of someone lowering my vibe or making my light flicker. I felt the effects, and I had reactions to it. Yeah, but I wasn't observant enough, and I didn't know, uh, I thought it was wrong to cut people off, or you deal with the guilt, and, and all of that, <clears throat> when actuality, uh, that is exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah, we've been dealing a lot with the narcissists lately. You know, I, I was talking about these uh, pastors, religious leaders, organized religious leaders, whatever the religion is. I don't even care what it is. It's like Pied Pipers out there now. They're like the Pied Piper. Yeah. The Most High is removing the sheep. Yeah, he's making ways for the sheep to make a way of escape. Because they're around a lot of rats. They're around a lot of rats. And that's who the Pied Pipers are leading. Yeah, so there's some goats and there's some rats in the kingdom too. And the Pied Piper just blowing his little, his little, what was it, a piccolo or whatever it was, a flute. And those rats are just following him right to their death. That's what they're doing and that's their choice, you know. And it may feel all right to them. Yeah. And so all praises to the Most High for us that have awakened to the trickery of the enemy that would try to rob us from our blessing and turn us into narcissists. Because that's exactly what the aim was, to turn us into narcissists. All of the trials and tribulations we done went through in this earth, that's what it was all about, to turn us into that. Yeah. And some of us did experience being narcissists for periods of time in our lives, very selfish parts of our lives due to whatever whatever they use to that worked on you to make you like that or make me like that or whoever like that and then we woke up and the most high changed us and he took that iniquity out of our hearts and he cleansed us from that unrighteousness that would make us a narcissist yeah now we just repent and ask the most high to keep us keep us take all the iniquity and keep it away from us and monitor your vibrations. Monitor that light. Because, you know, I, I know, um, wow. It's been a lot of changing me. And I'll say the last 
maybe six months because I was so unaware and because I was so aware, unaware, uh, the enemies of my soul was taking advantage, see, because we deal with our five senses all the time. So, if we can't see it, hear it audibly, touch it, taste it, whatever the five senses are, and then we don't pay attention very much. And there's a lot going on around us in the spirit realm. Yeah. And I think one of the first lessons that I learned is every thought that comes to me is not always my own thoughts but it's coming from the spirit realm and it was very important for me to monitor the messages that was coming to me and process them i can either accept it and absorb the thought and ponder on it or i can reject the thought see you have that choice you can accept or reject okay and know that they don't always come from you sometimes it's from the ancestors Sometimes the Ruach Kakadosh. Sometimes the Most High drops some wisdom on you. Yeah. And so we have to distinguish, and that is a discipline. Don't let the enemy get you all distracted where you're not paying attention. See, I made a video this morning. <laughs> and I didn't post that video because when I looked at it, I'm like, I don't even like my vibe on that. Yeah, because see, I had got caught distracted for a moment by something that somebody recently did. Yeah. And so I, I was like, ooh-wee. So I lit my salt candles. I played my bell to my fellow servants that are around me in the spirit realm. Gave the most high praise. Sung some songs. Started listening to some lessons. And I'm like, I have to listen right now. I have to listen right now. Yeah, all of the distractions, so what? They did what they did. And it was my fault, because I should say no sometimes. Sometimes being nice is not always good, okay? I don't know what this nice thing is. Yeah, yeah, and, and a lot of people play on this, play on your niceness. Yeah, you better be led by the Holy Spirit. And so, see, that's one thing that changed in me, too, because I used to always say, why do I have to be the nice guy? Why well, I don't have to be the nice guy all the time? Yeah, and I will not open the doors to people that I know want to harm me or have harmed me before. You know, I forgive them and everything, but I don't know what their record is. So I'm just going to leave people alone. And if the Most High have you for a time where you are alone, if you are by yourself, you don't have companionship, you don't have company, your phone is not ringing, you know, it's okay, so be it. Use that time to absorb something good, something that will bring your vibrations up and brighten your life. Yeah, give the most high praise and glory for every little thing. Yeah, be thankful unto him and bless his name. So, now we're going to get to Pluto and our change, okay? Our change has a lot to do with us being like the Most High, our Father of love and light, okay? Taking on his character, and that's why he's dealing with our hearts and he's dealing with our minds. He's dealing with our spirit man, who we really are. Yeah, because the change is going to come. The change is it's already in effect, actually. It's already in effect. And so, we have to keep this standard. Don't get relaxed. I can't get relaxed. I'm very sensitive now. So I can feel it, you know? I can feel it. And I know what's happening. And I know what happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Some people try to put some little, throw some little wicked words my way. Yeah. So like I said, the devil can't get me to sin. He can't he can't trip me up like he used to. He can't do that to me. So what he do, does is he sends an agent. He sends an agent. And if that agent is of a low vibration and controlled by those of 
lower vibration in the spirit realm, then that's why I said if you're hanging around somebody with a low vibration, you know, hey, just look for trouble because they can't get you to do it. They can't get you to stop praising the most high, but they sure will try to interrupt it. Yeah. And then they do something, and then the same ones that caused them to do it is a distraction for you because you'd be like, dang, that was messed up. That was really messed up. And then you get angry again. And then your vibrations get low. And it's not the time for that now. And so I seen it in myself on that uh, video. And I was like, oh no, honey. That will not get posted. I'm getting myself together. I'm going to raise my vibration. And I'm going to tell the most high people what's important right now. And what's important right now is that you have the fruit of the spirit. Which they call today an impact. Yeah. Call, call upon the help, honey. I showed y'all all those melanated angels. I showed y'all angels and dragons and giants. We got all kind of allies that want to help us. Y'all seen all those angels? I mean, wherever I went, I was just randomly picking. You know, I was just randomly picking a place. And then you see a congregation of angels there and there, and they are real. And then you see them in formation by those uh, fiber objects. I see them in formation all over that place. And then I found another one this morning that's just as big on your left wing. The one, the place that we went to with all the fiber objects was on the right wing. Well, I found a huge place. Yeah, on the other wing. Yeah, I took me a little break between uh, the last part of this video. It was so beautiful outside, yeah. And I got out there in that sunshine today, and I went shopping, yes. Ancient Gardener, Rite Aid had a big old sale on stuff that I liked, so I bought a lot of stuff for me. <laughs> I went from store to store just buying stuff that I like and the, it's like the angels just laid out stuff for me because the prices were so low. <laughs> yeah, so I was just feeling so good out there in the sunshine, you know. Singing to the Most High, praising the Most High. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. And also, I'm going to take this time to thank all my subscribers. You don't know how excited I am that now the Most High is actually opening your eyes to see what's going on with Eden and the uncovering. Ooh, it's all new and it's all so strange. Yeah, that's why it was hard for people to see until the Most High opened those eyes. Yeah, see how our spiritual senses are... Are, are starting to gain strength and power. Yeah, where you can see things before, and now you can see them. You couldn't hear from the spirit realm before, but now you can hear. Yeah, all praises to the most high. Our senses are really, really heightening. Yeah. So, now this lesson here, Psalm 37, I explained that. I knew of this chapter, I understood it very well, and I tried so hard to do my end of the bargain, but I could not until now. So now I know that if I follow the direction of Psalm 37, it will activate some happiness and joy in the Most High and make Him want to give me my heart's desire. And my aim is to please the Most High anyway. <laughs> And so now that my focus is just directly at worshiping and praising the Most High and serving in His kingdom, yeah, it's like things are really not that, it's, it's not that important to me. I just trust in the Most High. If you say my heart's desire, I know I got them all wrong before. Well, most of them, but I know He won't get any of it wrong. Yeah, so if you follow these instructions in Psalm 36, Heaven. We could just be looking forward to the blessings. You know, I know we don't believe in Christmas, 
But I remember as a child, my father, oh my goodness, yeah. I didn't even know I was a little ghetto rich child, yeah. <laughs> so on Christmas night, I could not even sleep. You know, I knew I was gonna get a bicycle or a doll or some dishes or something. And I would stay up all night long because I knew I was going to get something. Well, now I'm waiting in expectation of what the Most High is going to give to me. And you can be excited too because if you do these things, He will give you as well with your heart's desire that only He knows and only He can pull off. Yeah. Okay, so let's start it off. I have to take a breath because I don't know why I be rushing. I think I have been rushed all my life. I've had so much to do and so many responsibilities at a young age. <laughs> and I felt like I had to get it all done. Yeah, so I'm going to just take a breath because we really need to hear this. Fret not thyself because of evil. And neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So now, we know that we have a choice to fret or not. Because he said, fret not thyself. And so that's when we start managing our thoughts. So all of the evil wickedness that people have done against us. We do not have to engage in it. We don't have to relive those moments any longer. We can choose to shut that door to our minds. Yeah, because it's just daddy. Who want to live the worst and a most frightful, horrible uh, incident in their lives? I don't, and I will not any longer. And he says, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So a worker of iniquity is a narcissist. And no matter what the narcissists get away with, a lot, I know a lot of narcissists like to sue people. Boy, they'll set you up to sue you. <laughs> they have records to sue on people. They're always getting over on a system or getting over on somebody. They're going to find a way to get something for free. Yeah, but he say, don't be envious of that. Because they're narcissists. If they're narcissists, are they in the kingdom? Do they have fruit of the spirit? Are they, are they a child of light and love? No, he say don't be envious of them because they're going to be cut down like the grass and withered as a green herb. Trust in Yahweh. Trust in him. And do good. So if you trust the most high, the good, the bad, or ugly, you trust and know that somehow all of this is in his plans and you just trust him. And you trust him when he says yes. And you trust him when he says no. And you trust him when things are good. And you trust him when things are bad. And at the same time when you trust in him, you continue to do good. Yeah. You don't falter because of your circumstances. You trust him and you continue to do good. Even when people do evil against you. You don't have to return evil for evil. No, no, he said, he said, trust in me and do good. Keep that fruit going. Keep that light up. Keep that vibration up. So thou shalt dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, brothers and sisters out there that they don't have shelter and they don't have food. And you know, um, this promise here, if we trust the most high and do good, you won't have to worry about shelter. You won't have to worry about food, the basic necessities of life any longer if you trust him and do good, okay? Trust him and do good and it will turn all of that around. Delight, delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of your heart, honey. I want you to just think for a moment in your head. You know, a 
heart's desire, what you think your heart's desire is, and just multiply that. Just multiply it. It's exponential because the most high, he is the only one that can look inside of a man's heart. He know, he know everything about us. He knows how many hairs we have on our head. And so when you speak of heart desire, say for instance, it's a house that you want. Well, the Most High knows exact, the exact house that would just make you so happy and comfortable. He knows all of that. He knows all the furniture you would desire, what status you want to be in in that house. But yeah, he knows all of that. And so when he blesses you with a heart's desire, it's totally complete. All praises to the Most High. Yeah, and he says, commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust, again, trust him. Trust him, trust him. Okay? Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So you see, he said, don't fret. Don't get in that PTSD no more. Cut off those, cut, cut off those thoughts. All of those thoughts that would bring your vibrations low. You don't fret, you don't envy anything that they get for what they do. You trust in the Most High and you do good. And he said, I'm going to take care of your basic necessities. But if you delight yourself while you're doing all of that, it's going to go way beyond the basic necessities to your heart's desire. And then he says that if you... Commit your way. Commit your way. Everything you do, you consider in the most high and pleasing the most high. He says, you commit your ways unto him and trust in him. He says, he's going to bring it to pass. What was he talking about? A heart desire. Okay? So now our um, minds are clear. We can hear. We can hear. We can actually receive all of this magic that the Most High wants to bestow upon us, okay? It's almost like in those Disney movies, you know? At the end, everything could be looking all dread and dreary and all that kind of stuff. And then the prince kisses the princess and all of it comes to light and turn all colorful and all that kind of stuff like that. It's almost the same way. It's almost the same way the Most High is gonna bless us so magically. But we have to do what it takes for him to do that. And so then he says, And I shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light on all the bad things people done said about you. All of the wicked stuff that they done spread about you through your family, to friends, on your job, making up stories, giving you labels. All of that kind of stuff. He says, I'm going to bring your righteousness out as a light. In other words, everybody's going to see that you are truly a child of the Most High. And that you are righteous to His praise. They're going to see it. It's not going to be hidden any longer. But your righteousness is just going to dispel all of the bad things. That all the dark things that the enemy said about you. He's going to bring you into the light so everybody can see who you are. All praises to the Most High. And he says, and then I'll make your judgment as the new day. Your judgment. And that's what he's doing right now. He's making our judgment as the new day. The way we are processing our thoughts. That is making our righteousness as the noonday clarity clarity all oh, praises to the most <laughs> he says rest in Yahweh rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him wait patiently that's where the trust in him comes in is that waiting patiently because let me tell you if you're not waiting patiently <clears throat> If you're not waiting patiently on the Most High, it, it, it's just not going to happen for you. If you're not waiting patiently, you must wait patiently because once you get into impatience, then you start getting bombarded about what you don't have, 
what you don't have. Oh, they start shooting all of this negativity at you and you're impatient. So it says just relax yourself. Rest in the most high. Rest in him. And wait patiently for him. And fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of a man that brings with you devices to pass, okay? So now we look at all of these wealthy people and they just live the life of luxury. He said, uh-uh. He says, don't fret yourself because of that either. Don't you start looking over on the other side and say, wow, they got all this money and he got this and they got it going on and I'm struggling. Don't get into that complaint mode or the magic is just not going to come to you. It's not going to happen to you. Just let them, whatever the wicked get for what they do, that's, that's theirs. Leave it alone. Don't envy it. None of that. Don't even worry about it. Just be thankful unto him and bless his name and do these things. And then you'll be the one that everybody's talking about. <laughs> about how the Most High blessed you. Blessed you so magically. Yeah. And so, you can go ahead and um, and uh, read the rest of this. I'm going to go towards the end of the chapter because I just looked down at something. And it says in the 37th verse, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. That's what you look at. Stop looking at the wicked people. You start looking at, so, at someone that is living the life that the Most High has blessed, that, that made it to the other side. That's what you start focusing on. You mark them. You mark them and start following their pattern. And just like they were blessed, you will be blessed too. So you guys go through Psalm 37. I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of magic in here. And I don't know how many times it says, trust in the Most High. And I don't know how many times it says, do good. No matter what evil people have done, you do good. And then those first verses, if you could just master those things, he will give you a heart's desire. They'll start manifesting. They will start manifesting. You just have to keep your vibe high. Yeah, let that light shine, honey. And then when you get in a place where something happens, and you feel your vibrations being lowered, you do like the Hebrew widow, honey. You do like the Hebrew widow. Honey, you're not welcome up in here. Get up out of my space. Uh-uh. Only the service of the Most High and His Kingdom could come in my area. Yeah, that's what I do. Light my incense, start uh, saging the house, cleansing them from all of those wicked vibes, those spirits that try to bring wicked, wicked vibes around in my environment. Yeah, yeah, so you start doing whatever it takes to maintain your vibe. Today, I'm telling you, just by, I have been so locked down in the house. <laughs> you know, because of the winter, and I don't have a car, you know. But I do catch a cab and go different places that I need to go, you know, but not that much. But I'm telling you, this springtime, Hebrew Widow's going to be out. She's going to be getting that sunshine. I'm going to be putting my hands on the trees, yes, and getting in touch with Mother Nature, yes, being thankful for Mother Earth for all of her provisions for me, you know, and ever thankful to the all and all of my fellow servants because there are angels all around us serving us. You know, it came to me because I told you on that last place, well, the place that I'm going to do next is another place full of fiber optics and railways. And there's these formations of angels that are just standing pose. And so it just came to me. I don't know if this is what's happening or not for certain. But I just wondered if they were standing a pose for a call, you know, to get to us when we need them. Yeah, because the railways are there and the fiber optics are there. And it's so much of us, I know all of us are connected. 
Yeah, Shalom, all you service of the Most High over there in Eden. Hebrew William sends you infinite love and bye. And I receive yours. Yes. Okay, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for all the love that you send my way. Yeah, it truly, truly encourages me and gives me strength and energy to keep on going. Yeah. All praises to the Most High. So I send you infinite love tonight. And we'll be coming back with that video on that other area with all those fiber optics, angels, dragons, giants, Atlanteans, and others. <laughs> and I think I'm going to mix it up between the two different places, okay, so you can see the similarity. But anyway, I'm working on that one. I already started working on it. So now you guys bring this magic to yourself. Go to Psalms 37. Meditate on that. Yeah. And be so thankful to the Most High that He has delivered our my, he's liberated us. That's how you get out of Babylon. Yes, we are out of Babylon. We are out of Babylon, but we have to be careful not to do like Lot's wife and turn around. Yeah, or be like the children of Israel that wanted to go back to Egypt. The Most High delivered them. We have to be careful not to go backwards, but only forward. And only good and magical things are waiting in our future. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. Okay, you guys, Shalom, Hebrew Riddle out.